Greetings everyone, Lumberg here. Happy Friday. Today's update is going to be about how to empty out your wallet with this new hero, Simon. This is the second Drill Master hero, and you can see here's the first offer when you log in. They'll flaunt it at you. It's going to be in the events. Um, essentially, the limited pack, you can buy 10 frags for $6.99 immediately, and then if you delay, um, there is one more pack here, the limited time deals. Uh, those are not as good, but in the um, benefits card, you can get it for $4.99. You have to wait, however, seven days before you get it. So here you can see, of course, I caved in. I got it. Um, I think those are good deals. If you're going to spend, you should ought to get those. Um, and then you can see the second drill master slot opened up, and I went ahead and equipped him. If you don't have the hero, you can't really see him from the appoint screen, but the best way to see it is if you go into your command center, hit officer, and then go into the drill master tab here at the top. You can see here's Katie. And then, you know, like you can see, I don't have the blue hero, the equivalent Layla, um, which is a decent option um, for free to play players that will not spend to get it. Uh, so you can have the Jimmy and the Layla combination. You still get the three skills so he's a pretty decent hero um, i've done an analysis so let's dive into it so that i can tell you about what i think about it um, and especially got some help from a lot of kind people that have leveled this up and shared the stats so let's first answer the question about his inherent skill oh that's his breakthrough skill sorry so um open fire is his inherent skill here you can see um the base level i think it starts at six i Leveled it up and started up a few times. Um, open fire, it increases the attack 20%. So we'll dive into that. Um, Drill master, so this is exactly the same as um, Katie. And then here you can see mid range weekend and long range weekend. So this automatically places him as a better hero than Katie in terms of the the attack boost, and then the long-range attack reduction is actually pretty neat. So similar to Katie, the impact of Simon's skill of open fire is additive, so that percentage boost that Simon has is additive. So how did I do it? Uh, Mother of Doom is going on. I did a little test to say with and without Simon, looked at the uh, damage increase, so I had it at level 10, one star, so it's 9.2%, and you can see I was able to just by adding the 9.2% here to the um, LRA, I was kind of able to recreate it. Now, remember, there's all troops that are included here, so it's an approximation, but you can see that it's definitely not multipl multiplicative. It is additive. Wow, I had trouble saying that. Next, let's talk about the breakthrough skill. So here you can see at level one, the breakthrough skill um, has a 25% chance for the four most populous units to get a damage immunity of 6%. Um, at maximum, nothing else changes. The, the chance doesn't change, but the damage immunity uh, percentage basically goes from 60 progressively up to 50. Sorry, 6% to 50. A real special thank to, to Jenny from Core of Nation 2, who actually leveled up the hero to max. So here you can see the maximum stats. You can see here of each of those skills. Um, it is 55% base skill and then 55% for the mid-range and long-range weekend and 55,000 units. So amazing job. You might say, okay, this is a cheater. How did they do it? It's not. Um, um, she showed me how. Uh, and, and really big thanks to her because thanks to her, she only not only gave this, but she also gave the, um, the un unworldly skill. So now it gives everybody else a preview into that. So on day one, she was able to update it, but that's amazing. Um, here I wanted to show you that, yes, you can get it from Elite Orders. However, it is extremely rare. So I asked Jenny, how did she do it? And Jenny mentioned that she did about 2,772 Elite Orders. That's two, almost 3,000 Elite Orders and really only got 48 fragments. So that is what how she did it really is right here. So she had a lot of Purple Officer fragments saved up and amazing job of dedication and patience to do that. So the rate is there. It's extremely, extremely low. So almost like 1% drop rate um, for uh, Simon. So uh, beware. Um, I, I did want to say that 
this this drop that I got actually was uh, the first one that I did. So I got extremely lucky. Normally I have terrible luck, but I did get it. So you can get it. It's proven. Um, you can get a single frag. You can get you know the eight frags here. So uh, amazing luck there. Finally, I've taken the uh, unworldly skills and put it in this table and given my recommendation. So this is what I call my um, hero sheet. This is a this is a preview into what I'm planning to do for all of this uh, six star skills, unworldly skills for all the heroes. Here you can see um, for each color code what's the percentage, um, what are the different combinations, what are the different uh, and, and then you know in bold I've I've placed which ones I think are good. Of course the MRI is going to help. Uh, mid-range players, so they're going to be very happy with this. Um, and here, you know, um, I've put what's the priority? Do you do, um, you know, unworldly six-star skills unlock first, and or do you do the breakthrough skill? For this one, it's a matter of personal preference. I recommend uh, doing the breakthrough skill and leveling it up to about five. That costs about a 140 fragments, and then switch over and do the uh, six-star unlock skills. There's actually pretty good um, unlock skills here, especially for an MRA player, but even as, as a long range player, some of these are actually pretty nice. So I've made in bold the ones that I think are worth keeping. Uh, so take a look at this. Of course, everything in this is going to be in a, um, in a shared, uh, uh file as well as pictures in the description to this video as usual. Uh, let me just show you where that is. Here is the Google doc, um, or the Google spreadsheet link. Special thanks to here, you can see uh, Jenny of Nation2. Amazing work. There's the, the max. There's a little calculation of how I proved that Simon Impact is additive. Um, and then, of course, then all of these tables here, you can um, keep that hero card is what they call them, hero card, or you can just come back to the spreadsheet. So just a, a conclusion and final thoughts. You know, Simon is, of course, one of the premium heroes like Saki, um, Katie, Zeus. Oops, sorry, that's not Zeus. Zeus and Alexandria. In terms of um, just based on the skills and what I've looked at, and uh, I think uh, Simon is a better spend than, than Katie overall. Um, that being said, you know, Saki is probably the, still the best overall spend, I would say. And then second would be Zeus. Third probably would be... Alexandria, and then um, I'd rank um, Simon next, and then KD last in terms of the spending, um, uh, my opinion. Of course, all of this, take it with a grain of salt. Um, you can see my Simon is, you know, one, one and a half star. So, so clearly, you know, I haven't, I'm relying on other people's research. And, you know, um, it's just a matter of looking at it in my opinion. Uh, that being said, uh, good luck to everybody for upcoming Void. Uh, we have a very, uh, very strong matchup coming up. You can see here that it is, look at the total ranking. I mean, it is neck and neck, so it's a very powerful world, 285 versus 221. We're looking forward to that battle, and uh, I think it's going to be a good one. Good luck to everyone. Uh, you know, please, please uh, don't spend, you know, don't, don't be forced into spending if you don't have to. Uh, the last thing I'm going to say is that, of course, I did it. Of course, I did the quest bingo packs, and I um, overspent a little bit. But um, there is a quest here that you have to buy two packs. I did want to mention that one of those buy two packs, uh, the, the benefits card does not count as one of those. But the the limited pack, the one that you know is for $6.99 that you get immediately, did count towards that. So I just did want to point that out. Um, uh, that's it for the quest bingo. Um, I, I, of course, did it, I, you know, and, and spent on some fragments and some hero fragments. Uh, stay tuned. I am um, almost ready to do a update video on um, all of the, the rest of the six star heroes. And um, hopefully I don't take too long. That's it. Have a great weekend. Take care, guys.